ATI community. I'm back. I had some things to really take care of that was very important. That was in my personal life. So some of it I took care of it and some of it I'm still taking care of. But it's good to get me back and I've been wanting to do videos for the last past days but have not been able to do it because of things I had to take care of in my own life. So Hi, you guys. I hope everything is well for you guys in the TI community, for all TIs. And today I'm going to be doing a video, an episode, rather, not a video, but an episode uh, about in 1 Corinthians. And no, it's not 1 Corinthians. Sorry about that. It's 2 Corinthians, uh, chapter 6. Verses 14 through 18. And this is going to be about praying, you know, for all the TIs, including myself, about being careful about um, get entering and entering in relationships that are sent by the enemy, that sent by the devil. He's the word and, of truth and, you see. and being delivered, praying for you guys to be delivered from any toxic relationships for the ones that are struggling with that out there in the TI community. And I know many times in my life and most of my life I have struggled with toxic relationships. So a lot of us in the TI community are isolated and more all of us are in the TI community one way or the other and some are more isolated than others. And we have had our past in toxic hurt relationships, handler, controller relationships, and which relationships, witchcraft relationships or whatever, by witches, that we didn't know that were witches in our lives that came close to being friends or partners or spouses to us or whatever, or some in our family or whatever. So anyway, I'm going to be reading this passage in second in second Corinthians chapter 6 verses 14 through 18 again second Corinthians chapter 6 verses 14 through 18 in the King James Version Bible you'll find it past your I'm gonna read this passage in the Bible first and then I'm going to pray it over all TIs in the TI community including myself all the truth you and then I'm going to know. pray some prayers after that A word from Jesus is outside of the scriptures after I pray the scriptures so anyway I'm going to read now from 2 Corinthians again 14 through 18 verses Paul's appeal for separation from unbelievers. So back then Paul was teaching unbelievers to be separated from unbelievers. Or so from evil relationships that's toxic for us. So. And it was toxic back then for people but for the believers too. So anyway, starting from verse 14 and the second Corinthians chapter six. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are for ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. And just to 
as I'm feeling led to, I'm going to say the fir first verse in chapter 7 of 2 Corinthians. This one verse of that 7th chapter of 2 Corinthians. Having therefore these promises, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness, 